All right, what's up? Yeah, top of the morning, huh? Let's do it up. So we got some body cams exposing these lying, dirty, corrupt uh, Basuda cops. Yes. Let's get to it. Probably a couple stories. You've committed no crime. All of a sudden, the police jumps out, assaults you, takes off your top. You're a woman, takes off your top, exposes. What? Whoa. Your top, no clothes on, and leaves you there. And then lies on you. Wow. Charges you with felonies. What? Disrupts your entire life. Wow. And it was all a lie. That's exactly what happened. Put up the young lady. Check this out right car. here. Look at that. A Knoxville police officer continuously lied to other cops in his effort to keep this woman in jail and to keep criminal charges applied. Wow. She's 21 years of age. Student from Tennessee State was studying to become an occupational therapist. As she was driving home from a friend's house, she passed a Knoxville police officer. His name is Joseph Charles Roberts, wow. who was standing by another car he had just pulled over. Put up his picture. Check out this fucking piece of shit. You want to see a piece of skull? Fucking piece of shit. Him. Fuck you, she motherfucker. She him with her car. First lie. Never happened. And jumped Yeah, in. real disgusting. That right there looking at me. Disgusting. But shoot her. But shoot her. His cruiser and began pursuing Miss Clark at a very high rate of speed without his lights on. Now let's put up a picture. This is the vehicle driven by Miss Trinity Clark. Okay. Okay, that's her car. He pulled up behind her car. Miss Clark was already getting out of her car and entering her home. He yelled at her as he approached her, but she did not come near him because she felt unsafe. This guy's out of control. Okay? She was afraid. Without explaining what he wanted, Officer Roberts grabbed Miss Clark's arm, took her to the ground. Miss Clark was wearing only a sports bra and shorts. It was 93 degrees that day. And her sports bra came off as he tussled with her now you think something like this happens right sports bra comes off the lady and all right you're a decent person right you're going to make sure she is able to cover up he didn't do that nope uh clark kicked and screamed officer roberts later alleged she punched him in the face not on the video another lie about a minute later another officer arrived and clark was handcuffed face down and topless. Seven officers are on the scene as Clark is held down, still topless, before one of the officers finally- I mean, did the whole fucking thing let their top of like that? Didn't have the Disney put her, put her uh, sports bra back on? Robert, Officer Robert began to tell lies, okay? Here's what he said. These are the lies we have on the record. False statements include, Roberts wrote Clark turned on East 5th Avenue at a high rate of speed, causing the tires to squawk. This is false. She turned, but the tires did not squeal, according to the available video. Line number two. Roberts wrote, I proceeded to catch up with the vehicle. This is false. He never caught up to the vehicle until it stopped on Linden Avenue. That's when she got out to go into the house. Roberts wrote, once I got behind the vehicle, again, again this false. is false. He was never close enough to the vehicle until it stopped on Linden. Another lie. Roberts wrote, the car accelerated. This is false. Not false. All right. Uh, this is not what happened from the vantage point of the camera. Another lie. Roberts wrote, the vehicle was actively fleeing officers. Another falsehood. Roberts never turned on his emergency equipment, which is against department policy. All right. If he would have done that, she would have known she's being pursued. He did not. Next line, Roberts wrote, he had his emergency lights turned on when Clark got out of her vehicle. That's false. a bullshit line. That's false. Completely a lie. Clark was already out of her car, parked on Linden Avenue by the time he pulled up, and then he turned on his lights. Roberts also said family members swarmed him as he began to detain Clark. Police and prosecutors saddled 
um, her with six criminal charges, six criminal charges, including a felony charge for evading arrest. What? That is this absolutely is bullshit. Whole world upside down. A college student. Absolute fucking. Uh, yeah, he's evading arrest. Bull fucking shit. Another. See, this is what cops do. All they do is lie. Yeah, and here's the problem, too. Here's the problem. Cops lie all the time. But no, we can't lie because no, we go to fucking jail. But cops get away with it. Because you know what it's called? Da -da 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 -da, qualified immunity. Okay, here's a, here's another part. We're gonna it's gonna be a video, so viewer discretion is advised. Wow. That cop just emptied his gun. He just emptied out a gun for what? The guy was running away. Running away. Probably and most like an arm. Put up the picture of the victim. Now, I'm going to say this on record about the cop. The cop is a lying ass murdering cop. Yeah. That's my opinion. Now stand by it. Let's keep the victim's picture up. We just the New York it. Police Department is facing a backlash after the release of a body-worn camera footage showing the fatal officer-involved shooting of a black male that you're looking at that contradicts the NYPD report of the incident. The NYPD told us it was a shootout. The cop who did the killing, was praised as a hero, even by the mayor of New York. Rameek Smith is his name. Mr. Smith died of a headshot wound after being fired upon multiple times. Let's go to the New York Police Commissioner. The New York Police Commissioner, her name is Kishat Soul. She said Mr. Smith was involved in a shootout with the officers, leaving one officer injured. They had no choice but to shoot Mr. Smith. The NYPD claims officers Dennis Vargas and John Esha Barria were patrolling in uniform in an unmarked car near 3rd Avenue and Claremont Parkway but they spotted Mr. Smith. Vargas got out of the vehicle and approached Smith on the sidewalk who started to run. While Vargas pursued the man on foot, Smith pulled a 48.9 millimeter firearm which authorities said was concealed. Police officials said ballistic evidence shows Smith discharged a weapon at least three times. One bullet struck Vargas in the left arm. NYPD official said Vargas then fired his service weapon 11 times. Then the other cop who followed in the vehicle fired eight shots. Wait, what video? What are they talking about? They must be talking about another murder they did because it's definitely not this one. Yeah. You didn't, hear that, you didn't hear that guy firing gun when he was running away? Literally, if I put that video up and I read the report, it doesn't add up. No. What we saw was a man running away. Even if, and this is a stretch, but possible, even if Mr. Smith had discharged his firearm earlier and was running away, still, the police report is a lie. It is a lie. Let's put up the mayor of New York. He likes the police a whole lot. Oh, yeah. He used to be one. Smith who was awaiting sentencing for a gun charge. He's just like fighting for the bench warmer. What fighting for the bench warmer loves the police. Oh, yes, 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 he does. 
what? Well, it's just like that, you know. Vince Horner goes around and says, oh, cop watchers, auditors, oh, they have a, they have a track record of, of uh, serious felonies, and they go out there to harass the police and the government. Nope. It's called their cop washers and auditors to hold the government and the police to hold them accountable. It's kind of accountability and transparency. Was used as ammo for Mayor Eric Adams. Arguments against bail reform and the need for his new neighborhood units. The shooting was also applauded by the commissioner of police who called Smith a dangerous criminal who should not have been on the streets of the Bronx or anywhere else. Well, it looks like the police agreed with you, uh, Commissioner. There's more. Let's put up Rebecca Kavanaugh. Rebecca Kavanaugh, a New York criminal defense attorney and good at her job, told a local news outlet, the video does not show the officer's justi justification for using deadly force. I agree with yep. Ms. Kavanaugh. Mrs. Smith was running away, she says. Courts have repeatedly held that someone running away does not does not does not pose an imminent threat even if they have a gun the court has upheld that ruling time and time again the police claim mr smith fired a gun that's <clears throat> not reflected on the body cam video even if mr smith fired a gun he was not an imminent threat to police as he was running away we can all agree to that right now i know some will say well, if he fired a gun, it is what it is. He deserved to die. I want you to think about what you're saying. Just because somebody may deserve to see a judge does not mean they deserve, they deserve to see a judge. You mean the maker. It's not the same. You cannot empower cops to become judge, jury, and executioners in the United States of America. That is not his call to make. You like the Constitution, like all of it. Like the part that says you have due process in this country. Like all of the amendments that provide protections and an arena for you to face the accusers against you. Yeah, especially when you, when, especially when you have the, especially when you have a, when you're dealing with the cops, you have the right to exercise your Fifth Amendment. What's that? It's called right to remain silent. And usually, and you can use it to your best, the best. A lot of people say sometimes, you know, you should, you know, if you use it too much, it can be a bad thing. Well, it, oh, if you just, if you just don't sit and say, I don't have to give you no information. But if you get like give like a little basic, but if they tell you. Well, do you know what's going on? And I say, I'd run my remain silent. Since when is that a crime? And I saw a video where a guy decided to remain silent. He said, I don't have to ask questions. You know, I'm not, I'm not asking you questions without a, without a lawyer. What did, what did the cop do? He arrested the guy. That's crazy. It's another case of happy for the cops day. Fuck the police. Blue lies murder. With that said, I'm out here. My job. Peace out.